My name is Michelle Ufford, and I am currently founding a company that's focused on data science infrastructure. Prior to that, though, I was at Netflix for three years and uh, did a variety of things for the big data platform there. Most recently, led the big data tools team, which was focused on platform innovation and usability. Is Netflix the evolution of linear television? Uh, I, th I think so. I, I think we've already seen that, actually. I think, if anything, we've tried to see linear TV try to adopt more of the characteristics of Netflix around on demand and binging. And so I, I don't see that going away. I definitely think that Netflix and the, um, the way that it is um, designed, the experience designed for the um, consumer, I see that stain. Where do our customers um, come across predictions? Uh, that's a great question. It would be pretty much every aspect of the, the Netflix experience in some way, right? So from the, um, from the product experience side, we are predicting what is the right title to show um, each of our members. We have about 60 seconds or so to capture their interest before they go elsewhere. And uh, so it's not, it's not about showing them a specific set of titles so much as helping them find the titles that we believe they're interested in. And so we use um, predictions there. We also do it when it comes to um, the, the content purchasing um, process where we will predict what is the expected audience size for a given title and then based upon that we can back into content efficiency. So every aspect of the, the company and the product is, is using predictive uh, algorithms in some way. Is there a place for creativity in this predictive world? I, I think so. I, I think that um, if, we, if we do it right, we are actually taking out um, a lot of the tedious work that goes into the process of whether it's um, you know, content uh, creation and you're, you're writing a script, or um, if you're uh, an artist and you're trying to find that right image to show. Like we try to take out the tedious part of the process and we use systems for that, but then when there's actual human creativity, that's where we want to lean into that and enable that creativity to come to the, the forefront. What is the, my predictions around the, the role of um, AI in the future of the entertainment industry? I don't know if they're AI specifically, but definitely into like the, the predictive space, there is a lot of opportunity to, um, to modernize the entire entertainment process, whether it's on um, like the content production and if it, we're looking in terms of scheduling, a lot of that is very manual today. There's a lot of inefficiencies, so there's opportunities to improve there and you can get the content out to people faster. And that's just one, I, I can imagine that there's um, going to be advances that we haven't even thought about in terms of, um, you know, where where are we going to see VR go, right? And what is that intersection of virtual reality with AI? Uh, I, I don't know the answer there, but I'm very fascinated to see. I, I'm definitely a binge watcher when I have time to watch content. Um, I just uh, get really involved and, and just can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And then that just never ends well, right? I mean, uh, you end up not doing something you're supposed to do or, or not getting enough sleep um, the night before something really important. So, um, so I've had to curtail my, my, my binge watching um, just for my own personal reasons. And I don't have a lot of time for it today, but um, I definitely love to binge when I have the opportunity.